If you own a Thompson submachine gun, I'm sure that you've seen the magazines for sale on GunBroker.com that were lightly rusted, left under somebody's roof, got rained on, yada yada. Anyways, um, one man's idea of lightly rusted is a different one. Some of the bluing can be seen on some of the magazines, but for the most part, they are uh, they're 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 brown. They're they're nasty. They're they're gross. They're unusable. I would imagine right now, you sure wouldn't want to stick them into a uh, an expensive Thompson submachine gun. So what I'm going to do, clean them up. Evapo rust has been recommended to me. I already had some of the WD-40 brand rust eliminator or rust remover. So uh, I've got some dunking away right now already. And I'm going to go check it out, see how that moves along. And then I'm going to do a comparison of the stuff that... Uh, Evapo Rust puts out and the WD-40. See which one works better. Hey, the magazines that I've had sitting in the WD-40 version of their uh, rust remover, and it's uh, they're looking pretty good. These have just been sitting there. I haven't thrown them in an ultrasonic cleaner or anything like that. There's a very, very light brushing of these before I put them in there. I knock off pretty much the flakiness, but uh, it, it stripped the bluing off, and now I'm helping it uh, sound the rust. The important part is, of course, the inside of the magazines. Hopefully, they'll be nice and smooth. And then, uh, so I've left them in overnight. See what kind of uh, stripping is required. See if any, you know, a little more scrubbing going on. And uh, maybe I'll have them parkerized. I'm going to compare it to the uh, Evapo Rust. See how that comes out. Okay, reading the Evapo Rust rules. It talks about the uh, different levels of rust, and it's anywhere from one to twelve hours, depending on the depth and age of rust. Check the progress periodically. Once the rust is removed, rinse them with water. So I'll follow those exact instructions, and it, and it looks like you know, I'll be probably closer towards the 12-hour mark when it comes down to it. Very similar jugs here. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So almost immediately the lighter rust comes comes off of this stuff with both products as soon as this stuff hits it the rice the rust starts coming right off magazines to the left of the red brush were all sending in the vapor rust I just had a lot more of that I was able to distribute it amongst the uh, Three and a half gallon jug and put some in a Cambro. The rest of the WD-40 I had in another can that just wouldn't let the liquid level come up high enough to cover them all unless I only had a few mags in there. But they're pretty much the same across the board. Now the ones that were lightly pitted are coming out pretty darn good. And again, the ones that were heavily pocked with rust and are not so continue to work on these scrub them up and uh, see if I can at least arrest any further rust rinse them off duck them in some 
just regular WD-40. Let them sit while I'm gone for a couple days. Come back and hit them again. Keep brushing them. this came out. Because all you're trying to do is just, on, like on this stuff, is you're not trying to remove any scale because that's already going there. You're trying to make sharp little peaks on the park rise and do that too. Okay. And you see how this fizzes. As it gets more and more, it slowly goes away. Parkerizing Thompson submachine gun magazines. Look at the hang of it after a little bit. 